Hello everyone, welcome back to video lecture on OpenCV. In the previous video lecture, we have seen how to detect a colored object in an image. That is, we took the uh, hue of an uh, image, uh, we converted the RGB model to hue uh, HSV model, and in taking the hue information, we converted the image to black and white, and then we uh, took the contour and we added to the image. And the output of the previous video lecture was. Uh, something like this where we are looking for the pink color objects so here we had many pink color objects and we have we were uh, able to get the contour of that particular objects overlapped on those object but my aim was to find out the maximum uh, size pink color object in this particular image it means i need to remove these particular objects then what we need to do so we need to go for something known as connected component analysis so in the in this video lecture we will be learning about the connected component analysis in this video lecture i will be using the same programs that we did in the previous video lecture but a little modification in that particular program uh, let me go to this get counter image of object function uh, it is here get counter image of object function uh, if you see the previous video lecture i commented uh, line number 178 and 179 so let me uncomment those two lines so here is I'm calling one more function known as remove disjoint set from black and white image what this function does is uh, it checks for the biggest object pink color object and it uh, removes all other small color pink uh, pink objects from our image and it returns a black and white image of that big color uh, pink object and later I'm copying that particular object into again a uh, black eroded function because I need to erode it to get the contour so this was a function remove disjoint set from black and white uh, image which does the connected component analysis so before getting into let us see what the connected component analysis is so imagine I have a image where P is one particular pixel and this star pixels belong uh, said to be a connected component of this particular P whereas Q, R, S, T, U are not connected or disjoint sets to the P. There are many ways of finding out the connected component but we are using one particular method known as two pass methods. Uh, in this two pass method there are two passes where in the first pass you will allocate some numbers to the pixel and in the second pass you will uh, remove the disjoint sets so let us go to the first pass in the first pass I am repro reproducing this particular image over here where all ones represents uh, some particular object this is this belongs to some object this belongs to some object and this ones belongs to some objects whereas those zeros are the background I will start with a variable x is equal to 1 and two loops are required to run through all the rows and columns so if pixel is equal to 1 that is I'll check the first pixel well if it is 1 then check whether it, the column is 0 or not if the columns are zeros that is this particular column then replace that particular pixel by just X so in this case this one is replaced by 1 if not the column check whether the previous pixel of X is uh, previous pixel is X or not for this particular pixel x a uh, previous pixel is not present uh, for this particular pixel previous elements are present so if this is one uh, if the pixel is one and if previous pixel is equal to x then copy that x to this particular pixel also so this condition will be somewhere here so for this pixel this is set to be one and its previous pixel is also set to one so it will have some x that x is copied over here and also it obvious for this this pixel this pixel this pixel and this pixel so next is if the columns is not 0 and the previous pixel of is also not equal to x then what you will be doing is you will be incrementing the x and allocating that particular x to the pixel that is for these particular ones this one this one this one and this one these two ones so previous pixel it is also uh, this pixels does not belong to zeroth column also the previous pixel is not belongs to x so these are 
given a number with increment incrementing the x so the output of this particular first pass will look like something like this so first pixel is 1 this is incremented to 2 so this is incremented to 3 and these are 4s these are 5s these are 6 because for this this value is copied over here for this this value is copied over here and similar for this row this row so after the first pass the second pass starts so in the second pass as i said you will be removing the disjoint sets that is not about these sets this 2 8 7 1 3 are disjoint sets for this particular object so how to remove that let us see so in the second pass again you require two or four loops to go through the rows and columns but for the rows you will starting from the first row i mean this particular row so you will leave the zeroth row so you are not changing any pixel values in the zeroth row you will be starting from this particular row so from the this particular row you will check whether the pixel is zero or not if it is not zero that is three is not zero now check whether that pixel belongs to the first column or not so this pixel is belongs to the first column if it is belongs to first column so check uh, this is the else condition here which belongs to the first column previous row pixel is not zero so for this particular three the previous row is this row and this row is this column it checks this particular column if it is not zero then copy this value here so this one is get copied over here so it is only for the first column if it is not first column let us see what happens so if pixel not belongs to the first column then if previous rows pixel is not zero that is uh, let us take this particular object uh, for this particular object the previous row is this particular row so it checks this particular pixel whether this pixel is zero or not so in this case it is zero if it is zero so else if condition previous row diagonal pixel is not zero so for this four the diagonal element is this if it is a zero then don't do anything and go for one more condition where left pixel is not zero for this four the left pixel is also a zero so you're not doing anything you are just keeping as it is next the pixel is this one so for 4 it checks this particular element it is 0 so you are not copying anything you are checking here diagonal element diagonal element is also a 0 so you are not copying anything but the left element is not 0 so copy this element over here so this continues through all the rows and all the columns so at the end of this second pass method what you will have is uh, this particular output where uh, it was earlier it was 3 now it becomes 1 because this is get copied and uh, all this was this row was completely 4 this row was completely 5 but now it is completely turned to be 4 that is this pixel is copied by this particular uh, pixel and this pixel is copied from this particular pixel so you can see that uh, 4 is uh, the number of count of 4 is nearly 9 which is the highest compared to all other pixel 1 is 2 2 is 1 8 is 1 7 is 1 whereas 4 is 9 so since we are looking for the maximum pixel count so this belongs to the object that we are looking for and rest other pixel are considered to be a least significant objects or uh, we can say the stray objects so since at the end of this connected component analysis i am looking for a black and white object what I'll do is I'll replace this 4 by 1 as I did here and rest other numbers by zeros. So all other numbers are replaced by zeros. So again I am getting a black and white image. So to count maximum number of ones, uh, sorry, fours present, you require an array to keep track of. So this is what our algorithm is. So let's straight away go to the program. So as I mentioned, uh, I'll be uncommenting these two particular uh, uh, statements at 178 and 179. So let me go to the remove disjoint set from black and white. Here is my function. Uh, what I'm creating is I'm creating a new variable known as black copy. And its size is similar to this particular black row and black call. 
and I am first time setting it all pixels to be zero value. So next is first row of uh, first pass. The first pass I am setting a number to be one. Uh, it is similar to what we did here. The variable x is equal to one, and uh, you are running throughout all the rows and running throughout all the columns. You are getting a pointer of the image and you are getting the pointer of the variable that you have created here so you are checking whether that particular pixel is 255 or not because this black is a black and white image uh, either it has 0 or either it has 255 so if there are 255s then these two condition comes what we have seen from the uh, algorithm column is equal to 0 previous pixel is equal to x else x plus plus pixel is equal to x that's what we did here set number plus plus yj is equal to set number so once after the first pass the second pass starts so as i said i, I needed an uh, array to keep track of how many numbers of fours how many numbers of ones and how many numbers of threes are there so a is that particular array so with one row and hundred columns and i'm setting that particular a to zero now so all the columns of this particular a is zero and uh, i'm taking a pointer for a that is known as a row and i'm running through the first row uh, as we need to start from the first row not from the zero row, uh, and through the all the columns so this algorithm is reproduced over here you can just go through it and uh, I'm also incrementing the columns of a row. Uh, this incrementing is required to keep track of how many numbers of fours are there, how many numbers of ones are there. So this particular uh, if condition belongs to column is not equal to zero, and this particular else part belongs to column is equal to zero. So once after done uh, done the second pass, you need to count the maximum number of uh, fours and ones. So max i is a variable holds maximum number of connected component and max i variable holds the max pixel number of connected component. So I am I require one more for loop to check the maximum element. So this just checks which is the maximum element present in it. And uh, once after you get the maximum element, I'm just printing on the console. And since I'm expecting a black and white image, I'll be converting all the pics uh, this particular image to black and white by replacing this four by ones and rest all by zeros so that is done in this particular for loop so at the end of this function what we get is a black and white image again and uh, that particular black and white image is copied to black eroded and it is eroded to get the contour and you are subtracting it to get the contour and resizing it so once after done you will be adding it to the original image and you are displaying it so let me rerun it again so you can see the display over here uh, the pixel with 2 the number of count was 2561 and the pixel number with 70 was 863 76 was 567 so by looking at you can make it out that uh, this 2 belongs to this one 7 70 belongs to maybe this particular object and 76 maybe belongs to this particular object and uh, max i is 2 that is this particular object is having maximum number of count and the count is nothing but Two five six one. So this is it about uh, connected component analysis in this particular video lecture. I hope you like my video lecture. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to uh, like my videos.